Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm MeG69, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to look at tanks for beginners. Yes, we're going to look at five tanks uh, that I think are ideal for, for beginners, like newbie players. Now, of course, everyone has their own opinion and you might not agree with my five um but that's up to again that is totally up to you uh up to you let me know in the comments what five tanks you think uh, are good for beginners in the game now we're not just going to look at tier three four five six and seven we are going to look at a few different tiers even tier 10 um we're going to look at different tanks uh that i think are really good for beginners now there are some tanks out there um like this one or like this one or if we go to mediums uh, like this one that are really really good tanks but for beginners they make them look absolutely shit and I, I would definitely not recommend these tanks for beginners but there's some tanks out there that allow beginners to sort of make the mistakes and then get away with it uh, where these tanks really especially the leopard one you make a mistake and you don't you pay you pay the price uh, so onwards and upwards let's get to it tank number one now we are going to start with tier four and i've gone for the panzer b2 now this is a fantastic tank that's been around uh, for a very very long time and there really there's only one reason um why i would put this as a beginner tank now yes it is a premium tank um we're not looking at just tech tree tanks new players can still spend money in the game um and ideally we want to we want to keep the new players so we're not just talking about premium uh, just sort of tech tree tanks we are looking at sort of premiums as as well now i believe this is the only premium tank uh, in the list however um and yeah the panzer b2 there's only one reason i've gone for this and because it has preferential matchmaking uh, which basically is you will always be top tier um unless you platoon with someone in a different tank uh, then yeah, you'll start seeing tier fives. But if you just play on your own in this tank, it is there's two tanks, the Valentine as well, which is pretty much very similar to this. Uh, so there's only two tanks in the game right now that has that preferential matchmaking. Um, and again, as I've said, that just means you are constantly top tier. Uh, it's a good way to learn the game, of course, if you're constantly constantly uh, top tier. Um, so yeah, I just think it is a great tank. It does have armor, um, especially when you are angled. Um, yeah, I just overall, I do think it is a, is a very, very good tank. Um, and it does definitely help that you will only ever see tier 4s and tier 3s. You will never see tier 5s. So moving on to tank number 2. And we've gone up a few tiers. We've gone to tier 7. Now, we've gone with the T29 because I still think that this tank is one of the strongest tier 7 tanks in the game. Uh, when played correctly, I feel, well, even if you don't really play it correctly, um, you can still do damage. And you've got an amazing armor. Uh, of course, your frontal plate is not bad when you come up against those tier 6s. Um, your rear and your sides obviously are fairly, uh, well, they are weak, uh, but you always want to be facing the enemy. And overall, I do think that this tank, especially if you are in a hold down position as well, I think it is a very, very uh, strong tier 7 heavy tank. Like, absolutely amazing. People really don't talk about uh, this tank enough when it comes to tier 7s. Uh, there's other tanks that people do talk about, things like the Smasher, um, which we haven't added. Um, because we are talking about uh, beginners. Now, again, people might say, but this is a tier 7. How is it good for beginners? Um, well, you can know, you can still grind, and it doesn't really take too long uh, to grind up to tier 7. And you're going to see it in this video where we choose a tier 9 tank. And then we talk about why I've chose that tier 9, uh, but then not the tier 10. But uh, overall, I do think that this is very, very good for beginners. They can afford to be risky. They can afford to go front line. Um, they can afford to make a few mistakes because overall, it is a very strong tank. And you will get bounces uh, using this thing. Yes, you can't bounce everything. But overall, I think it is, it is absolutely uh, a, fantastic, uh, a fantastic heavy tank in the game. So, uh, yeah, moving on to tank number three. 
So tank number three, this one I wanted to put a tier eight because I put a tier seven, um, I'll put a tier eight, I've got a tier nine and I've got a tier 10. Um, so yeah, this kind of fills the, the tier eight gap. And it is the 53 TP. Now there are a few different tanks uh, that I could have added uh, in this in this tier uh, but I've gone for the 53 TP because overall it is a, again it's a very strong tank it's got great armor profile uh, when it comes to the turret as well um, you've got the tungsten shells that again helps you uh, and I just think it is a fantastic tank and especially again for new players if you get on a ridge as a new player you will bounce an awful lot um, so yeah this won't be for everybody of course the 50 TP won't be for everyone uh, but looking at all the other sort of tier 8 tanks uh, I didn't go for premium um, I just wanted to go for tech tree really when it comes to tier 8 and yeah I just think this isn't the strongest tier 8 of course not there are stronger tier 8s but for the overall newer newer kind of player the beginners I think this has got it all I do think it has it all I think the gun's decent uh, the alpha's decent the speed's decent and of course the armor profile is decent as well and again a new player can sort of push forward <laughs> and they can get bounces and it will uh, definitely help them survive and pretty much learn how to play these kind of tanks so that is tank number three moving on to tank number four and we've gone with the E75. I think this tank it is brilliant. It's an all-round fantastic tank. Uh, a good gun, uh, good armor, and overall, it's it's a brilliant tank. Yes, your cheeks are fairly weak. Your lower plates weak. Your side plates all weak. But frontally. I think it is a brilliant tank and one of the strongest tier 9s, uh, especially when it comes to heavy tanks, one of the strongest tier 9s in the entire game. Uh, the only thing I would uh, suggest if those newbies or those beginners are watching this video and you like the look of the E75, when you do get the E75 and you feel you're not ready to go tier 10, do not go to tier 10 because the E100 is a different kettle of fish. Uh, I would definitely not recommend the E100 as a beginner tank. Now, this shot, I'll shoot the freaking turret. Um, but yeah, beginner. Uh, but I definitely, definitely would not suggest the E100 as a beginner. So there's nothing stopping people grinding up the lines and then starting a new line to grind. So if you grind up to this tank and you still think you're not ready for a tank like the E100, then start another line. One of the other lines that I've just showed you, like the 53 TP line. Uh, and then again, once you get to the 53 TP, if you're not ready to go to the next stage, do it again grind another line there's no law or there's no rules to say once you started grinding a line you have to finish it um and that's where people kind of uh, uh go wrong if you're not ready to jump to the next step and no matter what tier you could grind a tier a tier seven and if you're not ready to get up to the tier eight then just start another line to grind until you are ready uh, but i think the uh, the e75 is a, is a great tier nine it's a great first tier nine tank um, and that then leads me on to uh, the tier 10 on this list and I had to go with the IS-7, especially as it is now. Now, for many, many years, there was only ever one tier 10 I would recommend uh, for a newbie or for a, a new starter or for a beginner. And that's always been the IS-4 because the IS-4 had it all. Uh, but of course, over the last sort of year or two years, uh, the IS-4 has sort of fell down the pecking order. Now, once the update hits where the rebalancing starts, then I would probably go back with the IS-4, but uh, that's not happened yet. Uh, so as of now, I would still rate the IS-7. It's, it's a fantastic tank. It's strong. Um, it's troll. And that's the thing with a new player again. And it allows you to... Uh, to be a bit more risky and again as I said at the beginning it allows you to get away with stuff you're not going to get away with everything and you're not going to get away with it every time if you sort of accidentally rush and there's tanks around um, you may come off really bad or you might get the bounces like we've just done here you know we pushed forward we didn't really want to go toe to toe with this guy uh, but we've managed about 1600 damage from him and then we're going to pretty much stay alive uh, for a bit longer and due to that, 
we managed to get away with a mistake and that's what I mean about getting away with it. Uh, you can make a mistake and you can get away with it, but uh, not always. It's not always the case, but definitely gone with the IS-7 for now because how, of how troll uh, the armor profile is, how good it is, how good the gun is, and just, you know, it is an absolute legend of a tank. Let me know your five. What five tanks do you think are perfect for the newer player, the beginners in World of Tanks Blitz? Let me know in the comments below, but for now, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm Meezy69, and I will catch you all soon. Bye-bye.